everyone, Sigun here once again and welcome to another playthrough slash walkthrough slash long play of Pillars of Eternity. In the previous episode we were uh, kind of fighting through the level 1 and level 2 of the endless paths of uh, Odd Nua. And they were, there were a uh, few of tricky situations where we almost ended up without the companion where he almost died but uh, we will have some upgrades in the stronghold finished and a place to rest uh, for our party and with that we can continue on our journey on exploring the endless paths of Odd Noah. Let's continue. It just just the mic a little bit. I think that should be it. Okay, uh, we rested the party and I'm not sure if level two. Yeah, I was correct. Okay, let's do a. Uh... Mm. Hey. A sneaky range attack. Leave it to me. Also, let's posi position our chanter in the middle, so rest of the fighters, I mean, party can get the get the buff, fortitude, and will. Also. It's going to be tough since there are a lot of ranged people out there. Let's go there. Also, we will need to... We will need to somehow interrupt these ranged units. Pretty low range for these, but let's cast it. Since the first hit didn't actually hit, but our priest is going to use the healing spell. Also, isn't there some kind of. Okay, let's go with this. Only one person. I mean, only one unit affected by it. Reducing the speed. Stifles detrimental conditions through sheer force of will temporarily suspend, suspend in hostile set status effects on allies. On allies? Okay. Consecrating creates a long lasting circle of healing and regenerating ally endurance. We will use second wind. Also, I need to. need to do this and capture as many units as I can. Since this is not going well. Okay, they lost a bunch of accuracy, actually. You see, dazzling lights dazed and blinded as well. So we can buy some time to reposition our, our fighter and take the aggro. He's, he's unfortunately paralyzed. Let's switch to our dude. Knock here. Like this with the melee. Oh, this is actually going to be 
Uh, a hard fight. Okay, one down. Let's do this. Okay, all is going well. Let's do this. Needs a little range, but let's go with Phantom Foes. Hmm. Let's as well. Something happened. Durance has enough level to to has enough experience to level up. Okay, we do a bunch of more points towards focus uh, when doing actually melee. We're going to try meleeing as well with our with our fighter. Thirty-nine damage. Let's do with another mine, and that should be it. Yep. Nicely done. Ooh, we can level up. Nice. You give me any more gifts, and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. Okay. Some oh, hunting bow two handed speed fast. Well, against the inside of this broken shell is a tiny white shape. Only when a tiny tooth maw opens to let out a frightened squeak is it clear that this is a small worm recently hatched. Let's pick it up. Hey. Only a little white worm. Hey, as a pet. Where can we equip it? Here. Hey. Ooh. Look at the fella. Hey, he's going with us. We have some leveling to do, actually. Let's start with Durance. Durance is obviously need, needs one on survival so we can, uh, when resting, have a damage reduction. Not sure how much, but everything is useful. Mechanics, lore. Let's go with, with lore. Received healing multiplier. Also, this as well. Okay. Ooh, class unlocks. Okay, we got a bunch of new spells. This is this is the the offensive one. Calls down a pillar of divine judgment, inflicting crush damage and knockdown on enemies in the area effect, which is it has a quite beautiful effect to it. Creates a large zone of divine shelter, granting allies a bonus to all defenses. Nice. Nagging doubt in the face of unbreakable fate consumes enemies in the area of effect, lowering their melee accuracy and critical hit range. Nice. Dire blessing strength strengthens allies' resolve in battle, increasing the probability they will land a critical kill hit. Nice as well. This is the offensive one. Uh, prayer against restraint frees allies in the area of effect from perceiving constraints granting immunity to the hobbled and stuck afflictions also useful restore moderate endurance Sh shares a portion of the caster's divine strength restoring a moderate amount of endurance to all allies in the area of effect to all allies also an effective uh, and crucial detail warding seal 
generates a magical seal that explodes in a burst of electrical energy when an enemy comes into contact with it, inflicting shock damage. Also, nice. Got some offensive spells. Watchful Presence. Blessed allies with the aid of a sympathetic soul releasing healing effect when their endurance will... Nice. Uh, this will be a some sort of... Uh, what would I say? A security handbrake. Uh, when our main tank, a deer, comes to low endurance. Okay, that's done. Let's go to our character. Jesus, look at him. <laughs> okay. We actually wanted to to have some guy who will do a lot of, a lot of stuff with mechanics. Traps. We will probably unlock later on uh, some... I mean, get a companion who is a ranger or something like that and has crucial skills for that, but no matter. Points left. Will those points be available next time or what? Not sure. Grand Second Wind. Athletics 2. Okay. Also a nice spell to, to at least heal some. Let's go with this. Okay. Holy shit, what what the fuck is here? Okay, we have some Oof. Have a <laughs> various choice of spells. Let's go with the first level ones, which can be casted quite often. Okay, creates a toxic physical manifestation of the mutual antipathy between the cipher and the enemy target. Enemies caught in the path between two would suffer corrosive damage. Okay, against accuracy and reflex. Okay, let's see what the soul shock offers. Briefly transforms the outer shell of an allied target soul into energy, releasing an electrical burst around them. Characters standing, characters standing in the area around the target take shock damage. Okay, that's that's quite nice to to cast it on a, on our main tank, but. It's not good if the rest of the against reflex. It's not good against the rest of the allies in the party. Tinius grasp assails the target's grasp on reality, frightening and confusing them. Okay, that's probably one target. Let's go with two. Mental binding overwhelms the target's mental ability to communicate with its own body, paralyzing it and causing it soul to emit a shockwave that can leave. Nearby enemies stuck. Stuck characters are rooted, able to act, but unable to leave their current location. Exterity is reduced by 2, accuracy is reduced by four, 5 for all sources. Reflex and deflection are reduced by 20. Nice. Okay, let's see. Mind Blades. Corps the target's essence, generating a slashing blade of force that attacks them before leaping to up to 5 additional targets. Ooh. Against deflection. We need some deflection spell. Against the def deflection. Okay. Psycho of Empiric Shield. The Cypher uses the target's strength of mind against it, stealing a portion, portion of its resolve in order to better deflect incoming attacks. Drains mean minus 10 resolve for plus 25 deflection for 27 seconds. Resolve reflects a character's internal drive, determination, fearlessness, and the emotional intensity they can project to the others. It can be useful for mental intimidation, leadership, and convincing performances. In combat, it helps characters maintain concentration and contributes to the will and deflection defenses. Mm. Let's see the, the third level spell. Generates a rebounding wave of psychic feedback between the cipher and an ally that causes crush damage to enemies caught in between. FOE Beam 
crush damage versus a reflex. Fractured volition. While it's an enemy's memories to bring vivid recollections of past failures to the surface, leaving the target hobbled and weakened. What is hobbled for fuck's sake? Wait, can I click it? Let's go pain link. Mentally links nearby enemies to the target, forcing them to experience a portion of all damage the target suffers. Effects ally target 25% of all damage reapplied to nearby enemies over. Ooh. Nearby enemies. Ally target. I don't get it. Mental links nearby enemies to the target, forcing them to experience a portion of all damage the target suffers. Ooh, that's nice. Puppet Master. Destroys the target's psychic defenses, leaving them dominated by the cipher for the duration. I'm not sure why I don't see... Okay. Look at this. Something is obviously bugged. Dominated target is subservient to the will of the enemy and will use everything at its disposal to fight its former teammates. Overrides charm dominated. Dominated is exclusive, meaning a character can only have one dominated affliction at a time. A new one will dispel any older one present. Against will as well, 21 seconds. Secret horrors causes enemies in the area of effect to believe their worst fears have been realized, frightening and sickening them for the duration. Also against will, soul ignition forces an, an enemy soul to leak energy, igniting the air around them and burning them over time. One hundred and thirty-five point five burn damage over thirteen point five seconds. Holy shit, that's huge. 135 damage. Okay, let's go with the pain link. So we can cast on our tank. And also... Let's go with this mine blades. We need some AoE. That's about it. Also... Let's see. Rapier. It doesn't change the stats uh, except for the deflection part. We need actually to. We actually need to use that. Urine staff. Durance rope. Okay. So this one also has a melee option. Maybe it's better to change to melee when uh, when enemies charge the ranged yeah. units that I have in the party. Probably is. Yeah. Hey. Let's see what lies this way. See now what the flame has shown us? Ooh, fine club. Crush damage. Accuracy versus deflection. Accurate one and fine. And also camping supplies. Which is quite nice. We will need that. Yeah. Okay, I can actually switch weapons and attack the bird. Sure. Let's round for fuck's sake. Knock this fucker down. Go. Look at Durance. Holy shit. Pain link. Requires 30 focus. 
Let's try it. Okay, someone is also leveled up. In here. We will handle, handle him as well. <laughs> he needs athletics. Fighter abilities. Vigorous defense. The fighter becomes fiercely determined to deflect all incoming blows, dramatically increasing all defenses for a short time. One per encounter. The fighter intensely focuses on his or her training, significantly raising accuracy for a short amount of time. Speed instant. Plus 22 accuracy. Guardian stands. The fighter devotes all his or her energy to the Pending allies lowers accuracy but decreases the deflection of nearby allies. I need that. Into the fray. The fighter lunges through the battle, pulling an enemy into immediate me melee rage, causing fierce damage and leaving them dazed. Oh. <laughs> I immediately, immediately knew hey. this skill was for him. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Now this... We gotta take better care of Ella. Ooh. Fucking hell. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> this was bad. Ooh. Loyal, fine. Herman's Curse. This rolled up piece of parchment is covered in smeared charcoal scrolls. Let me get it down in writing. I know this was a shit plan from the start. Merrick, gleeful as a toddler, convinced we were going to talk, the Zorib into helping us fill our pockets. Help Andrus right into a great big pit, more like. And now you're all run off like hares. Meanwhile, here's me up to my armpits in bones and Zorib shit. I hope you all rot down, down here. I hope Merrick trips right off the edge of the world and draft and loses what's left of his bits and guts the rest of you. Five of us left and you run. Curse each and every one of you and curse me too for dying here on account of a bunch of mewling piss pots. Use for when one of you rot on lizard bastards learns some Adiran. I hope you all fucking choke. <laughs> nice. Hey. I mean, not nice. He, he had a tragic fate, but nonetheless, the last sentence was kind of a victory. <laughs> yeah, I need to sell these. A bunch of fucking stuff. Mm hmm. Let's see this armor. Let's compare the wand. Fine. This is fine as well. Let's see this armor. Abuse, charm, dominated. Worn by Pefrel, a paladin of the kind where fair as this breastplate bears an elegant relief of two hands presenting a key. Pefrel commissioned the armor to demonstrate his dedication to the idea of opening paths and doors for those who might otherwise find the passage too dangerous. While his devotion to the order dictated almost every facet of, a, of the man's life, Pefrel was also a faithful adherent of the god Barret, and the hand and key served as a personal reminder that the final door he opened would bring him into the god's keeping. Just checking the, the heating is, is quite cold in the room, but... Okay. Enchant! Ooh. Hand and key already has enchantment fine. 
exceptional. We need more more materials. Armor do we currently have? Years proof second chance. Let's switch these up. We'll take these. Reduction ten and this is seven. Let's try with this one. Hey. Since he has a bunch of HP. Hello. Hello. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, nice. Actually, quite nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's try this Pillar of Fate. On this worm and also... Let's try, let's try Whisper of Treason on this worm. Let's finish these up. Holy shit, he's already knocked down. Switch the fucking weapons, man. Also, you need to switch up weapons, and you as well. This is not well. Yeah, you have 50 points. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot. Shit, that's a bunch of damage. Hey. How the fuck do I take that such so much damage? Shit, this is bad. Parathis! Nice and quiet. Of course. We will need to rest. Definitely be before going to the next battle. You multiplier. Okay, that's it. For now, at least. Just a moment. Nice and quiet. Ooh, something bad is about to happen. Zorib High Priest, stepping into this chamber, you are assailed by a cacophony of screeches, growls, and barks. Blood spatter Zorib's dance in frenetic leaping motions. To one side, Zorib plunges his hands into a bucket, teeming with blood to daub. Patterns onto another, onto others eager to join the rites. At the far end of the room, one Zorib wearing the long skull of a young drake and vibrant feathers 
takes a staff towards the gathered Zorib, screeching and clicking. The high priest suddenly raises the staff above his, above his head, shrieking with renewed vigor. He swings the staff downward to point it at the pit, and then at you. I think we've just been invited to participate. Oh my god. You know what? We actually need to fall back. Okay. Uh, let's switch up to this. Let's cast this. Also, blinding lights for spellcasters. Mm. Okay, one is also leveled up. Holy shit. Let's do this. Also, let's heal up. Okay. No healing for you, my friend. Holy shit, everything is bugged. Okay. We need to cast this. How the fuck does he use it so much HP? Alright, second. Oh fuck, our tank is down. Let's do this. He has small will. Oh, he's up. Oh, nice. Fucking knock him down. <laughs> Barely injured. Need to interrupt with a spell. Okay, not fast enough. Where's my dude? Here? No? Here. Let's go with the mine wave. There are a bunch of here. On Fucking hell. Okay. Let's do this. The Paru bomb. Nice. Okay. Some of them are some of them are dead. Level priest spells we can store light endurance. Hmm. Let's move up our guy over here and try to heal up a little. Okay, we healed. Let's go with second wind. Our guy. Fucking knock him once again. Holy shit. 
not sure how uh, how am I constantly getting paralyzed as well as durance. Finally. Again. Hey. Look at this. What the fuck is wrong with my AI? Things obviously wrong. Hey. Okay. A lot also needs to be leveled. Let's go. Okay. You will obviously use lore. Holy shit. There's a bunch of spells. Okay, terrified and sickened. Sickened. Bounding summons three missiles that pierce through the target and leap to two additional targets each. Okay, this is for protection, displaced image, minor blights. Causing burn, freeze, corrode, or shock damage to animal caught in the area of effects. Blights are continually replenished until the spell ends. Creates a ball of energy in the caster's hand that can be thrown at an enemy, causing burn, freeze, corrode, or shock damage. Ooh. Reduces damage reduction, deflection, and concentration. Because of blah, 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 movement speed while draining his or her own endurance. Not actually well. Crackling bolt. Caster becomes a living generator for a powerful bolt of electricity that shrieks out in a straight line and bounces off walls, harming anything caught in its path. Draining touch. Weakening it. Okay, this is some form of lifesteal. Lowering data speed and movement. Minus 30% attack speed. Okay. We will need that. Cane damper. Creates an nullifying field of antagonistic magical energy around the chosen point, suppressing all beneficial effects on enemies in the areas of effect. Suspended. Very <laughs> far. Rolling flame. Creates a rebounding ball of flame, inflicting burn damage upon anyone in its path. Infused with vital essence. Infuses the caster with vitality. Nothing. Actually, nothing useful. Let's do this. There's a nerf the positive effects of the enemies. Hey. Uh. Yes. What the fuck? What does he have? Hands as a weapon. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I guess okay. Hey. Let's form up. I need will. Leave it to me. Okay, we know all about worms, <laughs> I guess. Hey. What the fuck is this guy doing? Look at him. 
something wrong with the AI. Turn back. Oh. All right then. Hello. Hello. Measure the restraint fast. Rapier, one hand. Hmm. Let's see this. Where is this? Let's go all of the unique weapons. Also, let's equip Alot with some. Hmm. We can switch grimoires. No tangle foot. Let's go with 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 with. Let's go with. Okay, let's leave Tanglefoot. Who gives a fuck? We will need all of the scrolls. Let's see what else do we have? Measure the restraint. Plus one enemies engaged. Oh, nice. This is actually a weapon for a deer. It's also good when, when taking aggro, unfortunately. One handed. Hmm. Shame. Hey. This bucket is filled with blood and gives off an acrid stench. You recognize it as Maga Steers, a powerful poison. Hey. Of course. Let's see what the hole has to say. This wide pit descends into a grim darkness. You hear the whistling howl of wind and from time to time hot gusts of air target your clothing. Use the grappling hook to descend into the pit, jump into the pit, try to climb down the side of the pit, examine the pit. The chasm appears to have been dug out with tools rather than being a natural formation. It seems to be very deep but you cannot see the bottom, the gauge, the distance. Let's descend it, man. You take a grappling hook from your pack and tie it off neatly around one of the heavy stone blocks around in the pit. A few hard tugs suggest that the rope will hold fast. Keeping a firm hold on the rope, you begin your descent into the darkness. Soon the edge of the pit is far above your head and you can hear only the creak of the rope and your own breaths. Soon enough, however, you see another source of light far below, past the dangling end of the rope. We can see a dimly lit room, at the center of which is a circular stone pool. The pool is filled with blood, and even at this distance you can pick out various limbs and mangled bodies, largely exotic in nature. The tunnel bored into the stone ends a ways above the chamber below, and your rope extends no further. J jump down into the blood pool. Okay, fuck it. Bracing yourself from the landing. You loosen your hold, dropping down the remaining distance to land within the pool of blood with a noisy splash. The thick murky waters hinder your swimming, threatening to pull you down into your unseen depths of this grim pit. But at last you crest the surface and pull yourself up and over the brim to find yourself at the edge of reeking sludgy mixture of blood and limbs. Okay, we obviously descended a few levels down. Hey. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. The corpse draped over the edge of the pool is contoured in the throes of what must have been his final agony. Rotting skeletal hands still clutched over his throat. Ooh, this is not going well. You know I mentioned there is a dragon, <laughs> right? I mean, it should be. I'm 
expedition log page. This appears to be a page torn from some larger text. Stata did not make it. I know Merrick tried his best. No point in turning back now. That's what Merrick is saying. I think the point is leaving these ruins alive. We have lost half of our people already and I'm not sure how we are meant to survive this place, especially with Seda gone. The gods were kind to let us find that study and the books there. Those tomes would fetch a good price in and of themselves. We don't need to go any further. But that seal has stirred his blood. He's sure we will find more Engvitten's relics below. Every step takes us further from a guaranteed hole and deeper into unknown territory. I don't know what Magnus has ripped him. I cannot stop thinking about Edriga, the way she screamed. Found something. Yep. Of course you did. Holy shit, there was a lot. Chanter is, is leveled up. Let's level him up as well. He also has a high lore skill. But doesn't have second win. So we'll use this. Also survival. So he can have some. Beneficial effects. Okay. Next. Ooh. This is one one more verse of the chant. Generates a field of terror frightening enemies in the area of effect. Decreases the duration of and defense against frightened and terrified. Effects for allies in the area of effect. Okay. Allies leave a hazardous trail of frost wherever they move, hobbling and causing free damage to enemies. Friendly aura, drop trap, ram and frost trap <laughs> in 3 seconds. Increases reload time and increases the speed of range attacks for all allies. Ooh. Reduces accuracy of disengagement attacks for enemies. Ooh. Since he's ranged, this will prove useful. Let's edit his chant. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Prepare chant. Increases the movement rates and reflex of all allies in the area effect. No chant. Chant A. A. Fortitude. Maybe. Jesus Christ. Drains a portion of endurance from all enemies in the area of effect. Oh. I'm not sure. This will prove useful if our chanter was melee, but and not in this scenario. <laughs> Let's go with range damage. Hmm. How may I help? Following your lead. So we can actually shoot faster. We need one more tank. What? Hey. Hmm, Zorg champion. Hey. What? There are a bunch of fucking them. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a uh, arrow trap. Hmm. Oh, nice. Construction for the resting space is, is, is over. Mm. 
Ooh, achievement unlocked, Trappy. This is certainly not going well. Mm. But doesn't matter. You obviously can't use any more spells. But we can. For example, here. Position of many tank here. Okay, the trap has triggered. Okay, nice. Now. We do some mayhem. Again, fucking paralyzed. Let's go with another Grimoire Slam. I'll not use Holy Radiance just yet okay we are under the effect of best reload speed Let's go. got another charge let's go with phantom foes Typhoon is a string to temporarily suspend and hostile series. X. Hmm. Hmm. How can we incapacitate the shaman? See if we, if we can uh, pull up the high priest. Obviously not. But okay, we leave it at that. Let's blind them. These ones are in for a Okay, we can actually manage uh, fights quite well if we are in a in a narrow space. Oh, now you're fucked, man. Go on, skeleton. Fuck him up. Let's go. Let's go. What spells reduces damage reduction of enemies in the area effect? Stuns and shoves enemies. Not exactly useful. Skeletons are our main bet. <laughs> What the fuck? This actually did quite a lot of damage. It still does. 
We won't show them the wit feather yet! Hmm? Hey. Why are a tense fight? Must admit. Hmm? Hey. Let's see what lies this way. Ooh. Ooh. These orbs have piled together coins, discarded jewelry, and bare fragments of ornamental weapons and armor. Ooh. That's another part of that sword, right? Yep. Guessed it. Shield. Nice. Let's see. These. Damage reduction. Fine. Plus 4 to accuracy. Plus 15% damage. Well, three damage reduction bypass. I think the, this this is is better. Let's see the shield. Sixteen to deflection. Minus eighty accuracy. Properties bashing too. Grants bash. This is this is also nice. Let's do this as a secondary set. Or to shield deflection. Means twenty in total. Hey. Nice and slow. Let's see this upgrade. Okay. Bright Hall of Restoration. I'm not sure. Level 5. We were on level 3. It means we skipped one level. If, I'm, if I presume correctly. Hmm. There are more enemies here. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Huh? Let's scout with this. Okay, guys. No! Oh my god! Jesus fucking Christ, look at this shit! It's huge! Okay. Recording is fi <laughs> 59 minutes. Hey. I think that's about it for this episode. We'll leave <laughs> the battle with the Drake for for the next episode. We quick saved a bunch of times, obviously. Okay. Guys, this will be it for this episode. Uh, <laughs> we did a bunch of interesting stuff. We skipped one level of the Endless Paths of Odd Nua. Also, we encountered on a dragon. I mean, it's not a dragon, it's a drake. It's two different different things, but still, it's a fucking full-ass full, full ass grown drake. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, as always, if you like the video, share, subscribe, like the video. Uh, also, give some support on joining the social media club. How would I say? I have a Facebook page also named Sigulum. And if you wish, drop by and 
you'll know whenever a new video drops, whether it's about Pillars of Eternity or Hunt Showdown or another game. Uh, in the meanwhile, enjoy, and we'll see each other next time. Pozdrav!